I've always been interested in art because my father is an artist. He had uh, two studios, so whenever I had time, I would go and visit him. Although I didn't realize at the time that was something which was instilled in my blood. I'm on the board of uh, Australian Centre for the Moving Image, as well as Australian Centre for Contemporary Art. I'm a migrant to Australia, so the way I look at contemporary Australia is one of diversity. I like art which explores one's identity and one's sense of uh, belonging in society, and be that uh, in our community, in our country or in the world. Art doesn't have to be necessarily beautiful to look at. It does help if it's beautiful, but it really has to have a reason. It has to have a reason data, and that can make me think about what life is about. Daniel Boy, to me, uh, crystallizes that because his language teaches me so much about what art and culture is about. So nowadays, um, I, whilst I still collect a lot of artworks, I'm more interested in the making of art. I'm interested in the welfare of artists and the whole ecology of art making. Pascal Gomez McNabb, who is a uh, amazing interior designer, is a very dear friend of mine. We both wanted to give back to the creative community in Melbourne. The area that was most lacking was uh, affordable studio spaces in inner city Melbourne. So we decided we we're going to set up studios for uh, 12 uh, contemporary visual artists in Brunswick. People always ask, how do you choose the artists? And uh, you have uh, different generations, different degree representations, but all of them are professional artists with um, with a practice, so we, we, are, we are very proud to have been a part of their career. Every work has a story and every work has a significance either now or back then.